Polycystic ovarian syndrome, or PCOS, is a hormonal disorder. Um, it's characterized by an imbalance of uh, hormones secreted by the pituitary gland, specifically luteinizing hormone, LH, and follicle-stimulating hormone, FSH. And that, in turn, results in abnormal secretion of uh, hormones from the ovary as well, an excess of androgens, which are male hormo hormones, and also um, a, 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 an in, uh, a level of what's called insulin resistance, where women have high levels of insulin um, in order to maintain normal glucose levels. The symptoms of PCOS are varied. There's a wide spectrum of uh, presentations that you can see. The most mild form of PCOS is uh, a woman who has irregular uh, menses and maybe irregular ovulation. The most severe form is someone who has problems with being overweight, who has complexion problems with acne, may have excess facial hair, uh, additional hair on the abdomen and the lower groin area, and also um, um, they can sometimes have discoloration of the skin and the axilla and the groin area as well. Some women also have problems with um, baldness at the, at the scalp. Uh, I, I, I'm always um, concerned that patients are going to feel stigmatized when they read about PCOS, when they he read about the most severe symptoms. Most women, in fact many women, have uh, what's called a PCOS variant, which is the most mild form. The cause of PCOS is not clearly understood. It is probably genetic in origin because it does seem to run in families. Um, but it probably is more than one gene that's responsible for it because we haven't been able to identify a single gene to cause it. The most important lifestyle change that a patient can follow is to maintain a normal uh, weight. So one of the problems with PCOS is weight gain. And uh, again, they probably have a predisposition towards gaining weight that has to do with genetic and endocrine factors, but if they can modify their lifestyle with diet and exercise and keep their weight as low or normal range as possible, that can really help a lot. When, when women read about PCOS and insulin resistance, it can be quite scary because one of the concerns is that they, over time, could develop diabetes. Let me emphasize that most women with PCOS don't have diabetes. Diabetes is when your, your sugar level, your glucose level is high. Most women with PCOS have normal sugar levels, but they have it at the expense of high insulin. What insulin does is it acts as a growth hormone to the ovaries, and it increases the level of androgens, these male hormones that are produced by the ovary. And then the androgens can inhibit the development of the follicle and inhibit ovulation. One of the tactics is to use medications that decrease insulin resistance, and that medication is called metformin or glucophage. Now, one of the misconceptions is that metformin lowers insulin levels. It actually does not lower insulin levels. It, what it does is it lowers glucose levels, and that in turn lowers um, or decreases the, the degree of insulin resistance, and that then helps lower androgen levels, and that helps promote ovulation. Since the, the introduction of metformin for PCOS, we found that it's actually not as effective as a fertility medication as our old standard, which is Clomid. Um, metformin is a tool that you can use to complement use of Clomid, but Clomid works more quickly than metformin to induce ovulation and achieve a pregnancy. Sometimes we're faced with a patient with PCOS who responds highly to the fertility medication and at a low dose may not respond at all, but a little bit higher dose produces about a dozen follicles and that's uh, dangerous for her because of risk of, poly of uh, multiple pregnancy. So, in those situations, we often look at in vitro fertilization because with in vitro fertilization, we can harvest the eggs, inseminate them, and create embryos, and only put back one or two embryos at a time and freeze the surplus embryos. And that also is a very effective treatment for women with PCOS. Yes, absolutely, women with PCOS can get pregnant. Um, I, again, I know there's a lot uh, online in the literature that's discouraging for patients to read. There is a slightly higher miscarriage risk with PCOS, um, but overall women with PCOS, if they're persistent and they keep trying, they will be successful.